This video is about the six lead Y delta motor. Now the Y delta motor is used in conjunction with the Y delta starter, but I just want to focus on the motor and its labeling and some of the connections and that's it for this video. So the Y delta motor has three windings to it and those windings can be connected into a Y connection for starting and then moments later into a delta connection for running. So let's just look at the labeling. So let's start with uh, phase A here. This lead here is labeled T1. And T1 always connects to line one. And then let's move on. This will be T2, and that always connects to line two. And you guessed it, this is T3 connecting to line three. Now if we carry on the terminal numbers, same winding here, if this is T1, on the other side of T1 will be T4. The other side of T2 will be T5, and the other side of T3 will be T6. So T1 and T4 are a pair, 2 and 5 are a pair, and 3 and 6 are a pair. So again, 3 and 6 are the same winding, and so on. Now let's go to this Y connection at start. If L1 is here, it's going to connect to T1. And let's just look at the line connection. So this is T2, always connecting to L2. This is T3, which always connects to L3. Now, taking this information and transferring it over here, well, if this is T1, this will be T4, T2, this has to be T5, and the other side of T3, this is T6. So what the starter is going to do is connect T4, 5, and 6 together. And that'll form your Y point, and then you can see the lines will connect to the appropriate T terminals. So that's for starting. Now for running, <clears throat> nothing changes between the line voltages and the, uh, or so, sorry, the lines and the Ts. So if we have line one up here, that's going to connect to T1. Whoops, T1. Let's try that again. And line two here is going to connect to T2. So this is T2. And this is T3, which connects to line three. So if we look at the other ends of our windings, if this is T1, this has to be T4. If this is T2, this has to be T5, T3, and T6. So what the starter is going to do in this case is connect T1 and T6 together, T4 to T2, and then T5 to T3. So in essence, what happens with the delta formation or connection is L1 really connects to T1 and T6. L2 connects to T2 and T4, and L3 connects to T3 and T5. So that's the basics of the Y-delta motor. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.